Changes in relative sea level can be driven by a change in the ocean's elevation or change in the surface of the land. We know that uh, the ocean elevation is changing due to global warming increases in the volume of water in the ocean. Land surface can be sinking for two reasons, and we think both of these are happening in the mid-Atlantic. One is just uh, what's known as plate tectonics, sort of big chunks of the Earth's surface changing as a result of the relief of glacial pressure. And so this section of the mid-Atlantic is still rebounding in some areas and sinking in others as a result of the retreat of the glaciers thousands and thousands of years ago. We're sinking in this area at a millimeter or so a year. In addition to that, there is subsidence that is sinking of the land surface that can be caused by a withdrawal of groundwater from great depth. And it happens that in this section of the mid-Atlantic, there are three centers, there are three points on the land surface where there is particularly rapid subsidence going on. And each one of those points happens to coincide with a point at which groundwater is being pumped at very great volumes from very deep depths. Uh, each one of these uh, three epicenters of subsidence locally happens to coincide with wells that are about a thousand feet down and pumping several million gallons a day uh, in each case. And the idea is that that is allowing compaction of the overlying surface sediments and that collectively their compaction is resulting in a sinking. Uh, that's on the order of a millimeter or so a year, fractions of a millimeter a year. The net result, when you add all that up, is that relative sea level in this part of the York River system seems to be changing at about 3.2 millimeters a year. Doesn't sound like much, but we believe that the capacity of marshes to keep pace with change extends to about two and a half to three millimeters a year. So we're right at that upper limit and that may be all it takes.